Good morning students. In this video, we are going to study about the objectives of business. Now, there are various objectives of business, okay? And it has been classified into four categories. Number one is your economic objectives. Number two, social objectives. Number three, human objectives. And number four is your national objective. What do you mean by economic objective? Economic objective is basically concerned with the monetary aspect, okay? Because economic itself means money. So, what are the different economic objectives of the business? The first economic objective is earning profit. You know that the sole motive of any kind of business is to earn more and more of profit. Now, why they are working? Why they are starting a business? To earn profit. If a person is not starting a business to earn profit, then automatically he or she will not survive in the market. Okay. So, a business enterprises is established for earning income and that income is called as profit. And this profit only inspires people to start business. You know that in our household also, our parents say ki job se zada paisa business mein hai. Kyunki job se zada profit business mein hai. No matter, risk bhi bohat hai, but business bhi mein profit bhi bohat hai. That is why the sole and the primary motive of any business is to earn more and more of profit. Next is your creating customers. You know that customers are God to any kind of business. If your customers are not satisfied with your goods and services, then you cannot retain your customers. Then you cannot keep your customers for a longer period of time. For example, if you go to a shopkeeper and he talks or behaves very rudely with you, will you be able to go, will you be, uh, will you be going to that shop again? Definitely not. And on the other hand, if a shopkeeper is very kind, very generous person, then definitely you will visit his shops again and again. So, to create your customers, like if you want to earn profit in a long run, you have to create your customers. Not only creating your customers, but also retaining them for a longer period of time, for your lifetime. Then only you can generate profit. Next is your innovations. See, Taste and preferences, needs, demand, each and everything keeps on changing. If you are producing monotonous goods, like if you are producing only one type of good, no person will come and purchase your commodity. Nobody will come. So, in order to succeed, you have to produce new variety of products. You have to bring some newness in your products. You have to bring some new innovations in your products, new design. Then only people will purchase your commodity and then only you will have some economic gain. Is it clear? Next is your social objectives. Social objectives are basically related to society or you can say it is related to social welfare. Number one, the first social objective of any business is to supply desired goods at reasonable prices. People will be purchasing your goods and services only when you are providing it at a reasonable price so that each and every people can afford your commodity. Suppose if you are uh, charging your commodity at a very high price nobody can afford then what's the use so it is the motive of the business to provide reasonable to provide good quality products at reasonable prices next is fair remuneration to employees means employees are the part of the society they are working in your business so it is your moral responsibility it is your legal responsibility to provide them with the fair wages for whatever they are working, you have to provide them wages and that too you can say equal wages. Like if you are earning profit also, if you are sharing a reasonable amount of profit with them, definitely they will be happy and they will be working with you with more happiness rather than complaining about you. Third is employment generation. 
if business should focus on creating employment if business is creating employment then people are being employed so people from the society because people belongs to the society and you are reducing the number of unemployment in the society by generating employment for them so that they can be employed and they can earn their living next is your fair returns to investors investors are also the stakeholders of the business means they also have their interest in their company for example if you have a large business or huge business so you cannot put whole capital you cannot get pura capital aap nahi laga sakte ho pura paisa nahi laga sakte ho you need investors when investors are investing in your company then definitely if you provide them with good interest with good returns then definitely they will provide you credit in the future also next is your social welfare it is the uh, you can say responsibility of the business to provide social cultural religious organizations for example you can see tata steel building up medical facilities building up schools building up playgrounds building up uh, temples and they are providing them social welfare right next is payment of government dues it is the moral responsibility of business to pay the government dues like taxes on time if they do not pay taxes on time then automatically government will interfere in their business and their business will be hampered so it is their responsibility to pay the government dues on time next come to the human objective see each and every business is run by people you cannot run your business alone so you should look after them so what are the objectives what are the human objectives the first one is labor welfare it is your responsibility to maintain the dignity of your labor it is your responsibility to recognize your labor to give them some rewards to give them some appreciation appreciations or you can say uh, if you are uh, it is up to you how you are utilizing their talents and suppose if you are appreciating uh, if i am working in a school and if i am being appreciated for the works i have, I have done then automatically i will work with more enthusiasm next time and definitely the institution can enhance or can get more and more of talent of mine next is developing human resources see each and every organization should provide opportunities to their employees to enhance their talent to enhance their skills if i am also teaching in school aap sunte honge hamesha ki teachers ko training program ke liye bheja gaya hai teachers ko workshop ke liye bheja gaya hai kyun bheja gaya hai to enhance our talent talent sab mein hai skills sab mein hai to usme kya karna hai aur brush up karna hai aur skillful banana hai right next is participative management each and every business should allow their laborers or allow their people to participate in the management to give their suggestions to give their feedback to to uh, register their complaints so that you can definitely improve upon that next is labor management cooperation there should be a cordial relationship between employers and employees if you want to be like a boss and dominate your employees then definitely your employees will not like you and they will not work uh, you can say on their will like they'll be forcibly they will be not working wholeheartedly okay next is your national objectives national objectives are related to the entire country as you know that whatever resources a business uses it is the part of the country so it is the responsibility of business to utilize those resources in the best possible manner how come they have to produce more and more output and minimize the wastage next is national self reliance a country should be self reliant agar jitna zyada business expand hoga hamare country mein utna zyada goods and services produce hoga to hame dusre country se import nahi karna padega 
इम्पोर्ट नहीं करना पड़ेगा तो हमारा करेंसीज जो है हमारा जो खुद का कंट्री का करेंसी है वो बाहर नहीं जाएगा या फॉरेन करेंसीज बाहर नहीं जाएंगे तो इससे क्या होगा हमारे कंट्री में से खर्चा जो होगा वो कम हो जाएगा नेक्स्ट इज योर डेवलपमेंट ऑफ स्मॉल स्केल इंडस्ट्रीज इफ देर इज अ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ स्मॉल स्केल इंडस्ट्रीज देन मोर एंड मोर कमोडिटीज कैन बी प्रोड्यूस If more and more commodities can be produced, then definitely the economic growth in the country will take place. Next is your control over pollution. See, rapid industrialization is taking place. Industries upon industries upon industries are uh, setting up. So it is the responsibility of the industries to treat their waste or to minimize the pollution or and produce like a, a safer and a cleaner environment to the people. is it clear so these are the four objectives of business economic social human and national next the last part of this chapter is role of profit in business so i'll be telling you three more uh, main steps of any business like if you are setting up a business then your motive is to the first motive is survival aapko market mein survive karna padega if you are surviving then only you will earn profit if you are earning profit then you will focus on your growth so there are three major steps survival profit and growth so aap sunte hoge aksar bolte hain log koi naya business start kar rahe hai bhai ek saal to no profit no loss mein chalna hai kyun because they want to survive in the market after surviving only they will earn profit so you have to be patient enough right so what are the role of profit in business or you can say uh profit earning is essential for any business number 1 is incentive you know that each and every people is starting up their business to earn profit so profit inspires them to start up their business and you can say uh, they are taking risk to start up their business and on the other hand what they are getting they are getting profit so उन लोग प्रॉफिट के चलते ही बिजनेस स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं और प्रॉफिट के चलते ही वो लोग रिस्क उठा रहे हैं कि हम बिजनेस स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं मेरे को प्रॉफिट मिलेगा सो यू कैन से प्रॉफिट इज अ काइंड ऑफ इंसेंटिव फॉर देम इंसेंटिव मींस रिवॉर्ड और यू कैन से एक्स्ट्रा रिवॉर्ड फॉर देम कि या इफ आई एम टेकिंग रिस्क देन डेफिनेटली आई एम गेटिंग प्रॉफिट नेक्स्ट इज सर्वाइवल आई हैव सेड यू ऑल कि सर्वाइवल इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप If you are not going to survive only, then definitely you are not going to profit, get profit. So, आपको survive करना होगा, आपको patient होना होगा कि yes, I have to look after for a long period of time or for a shorter period of time to gain profit. If you are not surviving, then definitely you are not earning profit. Next is growth. प्रॉफिट होगा ग्रोथ होगा एक्सपेंशन होगा राइट आप एक दुकान है आपका आप दो दुकान और कर लो दूसरा दुकान कर लोगे प्रॉफिट कमाओगे तो थर्ड इज मेजर ऑफ एफिशिएंसी एफिशिएंसी मींस प्रॉफिट इज एन इंडेक्स यू कैन से लाइक जो बिजनेस जितना ज़्यादा प्रॉफिट कमा रहा है पता चलता है कि हाँ उसका बिजनेस उतना सक्सेसफुल है अगर कोई बिजनेस लॉस इनकर कर रहा है मतलब उसका बिजनेस क्या हो रहा है घाटे पर चल रहा है राइट सो वो आपका एफिशियंसी बताता है कि आप कितने अच्छे तरीके से बिजनेस चला रहे हो नेक्स्ट इज योर प्रेस्टीज एंड रिकग्निशन लाइक आपको पता है कि बिजनेस के लिए गुडविल बहुत मैटर करता है कोई भी अगर कंपनी है जो कंटिन्यूसली लॉस सफ़र कर रहा है तो उसका मार्केट में गुडविल खराब होगा रेपुटेशन खराब होगा वही चीज़ इफ यू आर अर्निंग प्रॉफिट तो कोई भी बोलेगा कि हाँ उसका बिजनेस जो है वो बहुत सक्सेसफुल है एंड यू विल गेन प्रेस्टीज गुडविल एंड रिकग्निशन इन दी मार्केट okay that's all for today i hope it is clear to you all thank you so much